Thousands of protesters in the U.S. demonstrated in solidarity with Palestinians on Saturday, urging an immediate ceasefire in Gaza. The rally, organized with the assistance of ICNA, featured active participation from Y Islam, distributing free Qurans and literature on Islam. Throughout the day, various conversations unfolded, with notable instances of five individuals choosing to embrace Islam, underscoring the impact of such initiatives in fostering understanding and dialogue. I'm uh, here with Y Islam Booth, and uh, I'm here with three uh, young, uh, vibrant uh, people. Where are you? Where are you from? Tennessee. Okay, and you came for the Palestine march. The Palestinian march, it, all the way from Tennessee, yes. to support a good cause. Of course. Trying to get our voices heard. Okay. Trying to get our representatives to take us seriously. Yeah, we call our representatives every single day. Of course, throughout the days of the week and they don't seem to care they're not listening to anyone and it's really sad so we came up here you came you came before. to do your best yeah. and, and you took some information on yeah. uh, to learn about islam as well yeah. thank you very much thank awesome david who came all the way from florida with 15 buses wore just a t-shirt in solidarity with Palestinians, braving a 20-hour journey each way. When asked about his jacket, he said, the Palestinians are cold. I can stay cold for five hours. After some Dawah discussions, he accepted Islam, making it a double shahada as the person next to him from Cuba also embraced Islam. We gave David a beanie for warmth. And you believe that there is uh, one God? Miss Joy traveled from Minnesota to the protest. She shared that she prayed for guidance that same morning, spotting the wise lamb booth at the rally. She approached, engaged in discussions, and without hesitation, embraced Islam. Overwhelmed with emotion, she felt her prayer had been answered by Allah. Let's pray for Miss Joy's steadfastness and inner peace on her newfound faith. Amin. <laughs> Congratulations. Takbir! Takbir! Ms. Victoria, um, in order to become a Muslim, you testify that there is no one worthy of worship except the Creator. And you testify that Muhammad is a messenger. Meet Victoria, a former Catholic who drove from NJ to protest the genocide. After heartfelt discussions, she joyfully embraced Islam. Her husband, standing next to her, actively participated in the conversations, but he was not ready to convert yet. He fully supported Victoria's choice and acknowledged that eventually he will also become Muslim as well. Indeed, Allah alone gives guidance. Let's make dua for both Victoria and her husband on their unique journeys. Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar! Just Just Yeah, Your support is crucial and urgent. Every six minutes, we receive a new request for a Quran. In the last 12 months, we've distributed 100,000 Qurans, facilitated more than 500 jihadas, and reached out to 10 million people with a message of Islam serving both English and Spanish audiences. To sustain this impactful outreach, we urgently need your help. All donations are tax deductible and are spent 100% on Quran distribution and outreach. Your contribution will make a significant difference. We appreciate you and uh, without you, nothing will change. So continue to work.